standing next to uh, the new Z4 uh, that we are about to launch and um, our vision for a Z4 is uh, typically uh, driving open. It is uh, an a sensation for all senses. Uh, a road so is about freedom uh, and it is about joy in its purest form. Well, I think the um, main differences between uh, the previous E4 and this one is that uh, we wanted to raise two particular elements. One was the sportiness and the other one was uh, elegance and luxury. Um, and those uh, don't always match. Uh, in this uh, road, uh, we have integrated uh, a metal a retractable hardtop. Not an easy thing uh, from a design point to integrate, but it adds uh, comfort, it adds luxury. Uh, our engineers have added um, uh, a drivetrain feature uh, that allows the customer at the push of a button uh, to select uh, a more comfortable suspension setting uh, or a more sporty one. And we have integrated more uh, storage space. drive a roadster, you drive it open, you couldn't get much closer in a car to the road. The long hood is a very typical feature for a roadster, but also, and what's very specific to a BMW, is that the driver sits really far back in the car, sits almost on the rear axle and feels every movement when performing, basically driving through the road. Well, in order to describe the surfacing, I have to point out two very key lines on this car. The one line is the line that stretches from the kidneys in the front all the way to the rear door handle. If you notice how that has one gracious flow and basically sums up the entire car. The second line, for us very important, is that line that goes over the rear wheel haunches. Those two lines basically, in essence, sums up a Roadster, a BMW Roadster. The next thing is that Underneath that line, you see this very three-dimensional positive-negative play of surfaces. That sculpts the forms very nicely and, uh, in essence, emphasizes the power, the dynamic of the car. The new Z4, you could sum it up in one word, and that would be freedom. Driving a roadster is a kind of expression of freedom or of joy of driving. You are outside, you feel the sun. If you drive through a forest, you can smell it. I'm also an outdoor person. I like mountain biking and stuff. So roadsters are for me perfect cars. Actually, I was not having a real thing or something in mind. It was more the desire or the thought to create something which is kind of alive, a product which is kind of a living, you know, with moving surfaces, moving lines, more inspired from a human body, athletic, beautiful. The car expresses emotion, then sexiness also, but also it's muscular and very strong and sporty looking so it combines the two things though I think when when I did the car I was more thinking if the car wants to be emotional and sexy it has to speak the language of people not the language of a product especially in a roadster color plays a very important role because you when you drive open you see the interior together with the exterior and if you have a very attractive color in the interior the exterior color has to come in harmony uh, with it and um, of course we offer uh, more neutral metallic colors uh, as the typical BMW classic colors uh, but we also have new options we offer as an exclusive color the Havana brown metallic uh, which completes the ex uh, interior to a very harmonic, elegant, noble whole. Of course I'm proud 
and I really want to see the car on the road finally and I really want to drive it also so I think I'm pretty happy. In the Roadster you were very exposed to the elements and um, the idea was there to, to give you that little bit of protection or cocooning feel that you would have. For example, when you sit in your, in your Roadster, you, sometimes you even get your, your um, jacket collar up and try to protect your neck from the wind, from the you know, exposure to, to all the elements and, and that was one of the ideas also for the instruments that you have kind of a cocooning uh, instrument cover and also with the seats uh, the same feature so you really get this you know roadster feel I'm exposed to the elements but at the same time I still have a little bit of, of protection going. For me a roadster is also a very sporty thing so I wanted a strong driver orientation but I didn't want to leave the passenger you know totally neglected so it was to me this this flow of really balancing passenger and driver, which to me is also um, a similar thing of how the body flows, which, which has like a convex, concave uh, play to each other. So that was one of the original ideas I had. So the first go at, or go at it with, with sketching for me is kind of a free image search I usually do just of anything that could be inspirational for me um, and then I, I try to kind of get the sense of what does this car uh, want to portray what's the strongest feature and to me it's a very emotional car roadsters are kind of the, the cars that you know you get very attached to and it's, it's a very sporty very exciting car so that was definitely something I was thinking of when I first did my inspirational work and the beginning work of it. Actually in this case I was very fortunate to uh, have a modeler that I've been working with before and I had a lot of uh, time with before so we know each other pretty well and, and kind of can read almost each other's thoughts which helps in these situations and it's more in a direction of where you know, I have my dreamer hat on and, and I think of something uh, that I believe will work and then he is more the realist that will tell me not so easy to do in real life. But then, you know, we kind of compromise on certain things and he makes suggestions of how he could, could see it work and, you know, I counter it with how I see it working. So we always come to a really good common ground and, and usually both of us are pretty happy with that in the end. If you look into the past and see what other roadsters have been made by BMW and being part of that lineup is somewhat intimidating but also I mean very very exciting. I will always keep the passion for design and the passion for the work I do.